yes very good morning to all of you here i am coming come up with a new video so that is uh, numerical ability questions and the solutions so the test paper is tcs nqt 2022 batch the date of examination is 14th 15th 16th september 2021 uh, that numerical ability questions asked on 14th 15th 16th september so i co collected few questions of the numerical ability right so and i'm explaining those and 12th and 13th paper i already uploaded so 14th 15th 16th numerical ability questions that i am going to explain already i made a video on 12th and 13th now 14th 15th 16th a bunch of good quality no repetition questions no repetition questions that i am collecting right yeah so good quality question wherever you go our network follows in the similar manner lcm hcf time and work without these topics there is no placement paper so that's the importance lcm and hcf of three numbers is 48 144 and p or 720 and 24 respectively find the least value of p good quality question so my dear viewers my dear listeners understand one thing this is a paper explanation so straight away i am going to explain the solution the history behind the solution the history behind the concept you should learn from the aptitude video course that i designed for that you can contact to this mail id yeah lcm and hcf of three numbers is 48 144 and pr 720 24 respectively okay so let us decompose 48 in such a way as hcf is 24 that's why i'm decomposing 20, 48 into 24 into 2 and also 144 i'm decomposing as 24 into 6 so definitely to get the hcf of hcf 24 p should be multiple of 24 P should be multiple of 24, then only these three numbers HCF is 24. Cool, that one conclusion is over. Now, LCM is how much? 720. And HCF is how much? 24, which will result 30. Which will result 30. It means this set, the LCM of 26X, these three numbers LCM should be 30. The minimum value of x is 5 here. 2, 6, 5. LCM is 30. Therefore, x is 5. If x is 5, p is 24 into 5. 24 into 5 is 120. It's a, def, it's a good quality reverse question. Indirect question. Right? Good quality question, my dear viewers. On LCM and HCF, HCF concept. Alani wants to grow roses, marigold, jasmine in his form. This season, 1344 4 saplings of roses, 1856 marigold, 2752 sapling jasmine. If the palani has to plant rows of saplings, rows of saplings that contain the same number of saplings, same number of saplings in each row, same number of saplings, and also each row must contain exclusively either only one rose or one marigold or only jasmine. So each row completely rose or completely marigold or completely jasmine what is the maximum number of saplings in each row right it is a five four line question but the answer for this question is simply hcf of 1344 simply this the way you if you know good at if you know the concept of hcf very well by reading this question, this topic can comes in mind. So I'm finding the HCF of first 1344 1856. Right? I'm using the division method, my dear viewers. This is one time 1344. 1344. This is 512. 1344. This is definitely two times 1024. 0 to 1, 120, 5, 12, next division, 120, um, 
three four four three minus zero is three right so three twenty one time that is a three twenty this is a two this is a nine this is a one now three twenty again one time that is a one ninety two which is nothing but eight two one again divide with one ninety two only one time it is one twenty eight which is a sixty four 64 128 that is 2 times 128 remainder is 0 once the remainder is 0 this last divisor is the HCF right so the two numbers 1344 HCF is 64 now third number is 2752 let us divide with 64 yeah perfectly divisible which means for these three numbers HCF is 64 that's the the maximum number of saplings he can plant in each row is 64 so in one row 64 roses another row 64 marigold another row 64 jasmines right like that uh, she can that's the good quality question only thing is hcf concept see two questions lcm hcf and one question completely from hcf box contain total of one of the finest question from ratio and proportions 45 coins of one rupee five rupee and 2 rupee total 45 coins the total value of all the coins is 91 rupees total in the box 91 rupees the number of 1 rupee coins is one more than the total number of 5 rupee and 2 rupee coins okay let us say um, one more than the total number of 5 rupee and 2 rupee coin let us say the total of the total number of 5 rupee and 2 rupee coins are x in the box 1 rupee coin 2 rupee coin 5 rupee coins are there the total number of 2 rupee coins 5 rupee coins i am taking as x then 1 rupee coins are how many one more than that is x plus 1 therefore the total number of coins are x plus 1 plus x he has given it as 45 which means x is 44 by 2 which is nothing but 22 so 22 coins so if 22 x is 22 then 1 rupee coins are how many x plus 1 that is nothing but 22 plus 1 23 it means 23 1 rupee coins means 23 rupees 23 rupees so out of 91 rupees 23 rupees are 1 rupee coins remaining 68 rupees are what 2 rupee coins and 5 rupee coins that is one thing remaining coins are how many total 45 coins out of 45 coins 23 coins are 1 rupee so remaining 22 coins are what a 2 rupee and 5 rupee okay okay now 22 coins 2 rupee and 5 rupee together amount is 68 amount is 68 rupees for example all if all these 22 coins are 5 rupee if all these 22 coins are 5 rupee then the amount is 110 for example if all these 22 coins are 2 rupees then the amount is 44 but the combined or mean value is how much 68 I am applying the allegation if I apply the allegation and mixer how much I am going to get if I apply the allegation mixer so 110 minus 68 it is 42 and then 68 minus 44 this is 424 so the simplest ratio is 4 is to 7 is it 4 is to 7 yeah this is 4 6 minus 4 is 2 yeah we need 5 rupee 5 rupee are 4 parts out of 7 plus 4 11 into uh, total coins are 22 here 5 rupee and 2 rupee which means uh, the 5 rupee coins are how many 8 coins 8 coins that's it good quality question repeatedly listen you will understand nothing is there just i'm applying the allegation mixer concept you you have to get all these at a moment in your mind at your mind 
that comes only with practice my dear viewers that comes only with good practice good practice good quality practice the average weight of 8 bags is 150 average weight of 7 bags is 140 so find the weight of the 8th bag very simple right total is 8 into 150 minus 7 into 140 so this is nothing but 220 by using the on screen calculator that's it 8 of the 8th bag simple question a cylindrical can has the base value of a cylindrical can has the base value of base of diameter is 8 centimeters height is 4 a cuboid has a square base cube of 8 centimeter and the same height as a can can height is 14 okay what is the difference between their volumes okay so volume of the cylinder is nothing but pi r square h so pi into r is nothing but 4 8 by 2 h is nothing but 14 so this is nothing but 704 now volume of the cuboidal which is nothing but lbh length into breadth into height this is nothing but 896 this difference is how much 192 this difference is how much 192 i'm just using the on screen calculator I already calculated repeatedly I already done the solutions of all these that's the reason why for saving the memory and time in the length of the video I am giving directly answers in the calculative part it is all about how to work out it is not about the calculative part calculative part and don't want to waste the time the sequence of sequence consisting of nine terms arranged in descending order okay fine the mean value of the sequence is 30 if 20 is added to each term and then each term is divided by 5 to get the new mean is z find very simple right 9 terms 9 terms mean is how much 30 mean is how much 30 this is the older mean so let us say each term is 30 now for each term how much is added uh, how much is added 20 is added and divided by 5 which is nothing but 50 by 5 that is 10 this is nothing but z he is asking what oh, find the sum of z and the original mean which is nothing but 40 very simple lkz level question geometric mean of the two numbers is 18 geometric mean which is nothing but b square is equal to ac is equal to ac Two numbers is 18 which is nothing but 18 into 18 is equal to one number is 12 let us say other number is x other number is x so i'm going to get other number x as 12 he is giving this as a sorry it is better to take here capital a capital a that is nothing but a 12 i got 12 and the median of these median of these is b how much the median of these median of these 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 numbers median is average of these two 12 by 12 plus 12 by 2 median is 12 which is nothing but b he is asking the arithmetic mean of these two which is nothing but sum divided by sum divided by 2 12 plus 12 sorry this is 27 the calculator part sorry this is 27 27 plus 12 39 39 by 2 is 19 19.5 that is what the required a magician wants to hide his magical box magical rod inside a cuboidal box whose total surface area is 306 3042 which is nothing but 6a square is equal to right total surface area 6a square is equal to 3042 what is the maximum length very very important question my dear viewers last year also the similar kind of question has been asked the maximum length of the rod that can be inscribed in a cube or cubical box that length is nothing but root 3 a square i already given this one in my video course so root 3 a square let us say 3 6 a square is there 3a square is how much 1521 
we need root 3 a square nothing but the square root of 1 5 2 1 ending with 1 it is definitely 9 39 centimeters the length of the rod that can be inscribed in a cube or cuboid root 3 a square that's the formula important one also in the entrance examination 40 450 girls and 600 boys are appeared so 450 what girls boys are how many 600 20 percent of the girls are paused which means 90 girls are paused and 25 percent of the boys are failed 60 60 120 30 150 150 are failed so passed is 450 total passed 450 plus 90 540 A shopkeeper sells an item, okay fine, a shopkeeper sells an item at the rupees of 36855 after giving a discount of 25% on its labeled price, MRP. So which means 25% is discount, MRP low, in this MRP 25% is discount which means 75% of MRP is nothing but 36855. Using the on-screen calculator, I got the maximum retail price or the labeled price as, labeled price as 4914. Point four. This is the labeled price. Okay, fine. Labeled price. Had he not given the discount, he would have earned a profit of 17% on its cost. Had he not given a discount, he would have earned a profit of 17% on its cost. What is the cost price of the item? 17% profit. So this is nothing but 117%. 117%. Cost price is 100%. 100% cost price, 17% is the profit, which is nothing but 117%. And that 117% is nothing but 491.4 a year. Right. 100% is how much? Simply 491.4 into 100 divided by 117. Using the on screen calculator, I got 420. A trader buys 120 meters cloth, okay, each cloth, each meter rate is 125, this is the total cost price, which is nothing but 15,000, this is the total cost price of that entire cloth, he sells 40% of it at a gain of 10, 33.33% of the remaining at a gain of 15, at what percent should he sell the remaining cloth so he has to gain 20%, it is a part selling, part selling, part selling, he has to get overall profit of 25%. He has to get overall profit of 25%, which means the profit is how much? 25% of 15,000. 25% of 15,000 is 3750. This is the amount of profit he wants. That's okay. Now, in the first part, what he is selling? 40% of this one. 40 is what is 40% of 15,000 is nothing but 6,000. 6,000 is cost price and gain of 10%. What is 10% of 6,600? This is the profit in the first part. 33.33% of the remaining. Total is 15,000. 6,000 is sold. Remaining is how much? 9,000. In this 9,000, 33.33, which is nothing but 1 by 3. So, nothing but 3,000. On this 3,000, what is the gain? 15%. What is the 15% of 3,000? 300 plus 150, which is nothing but 450. This is the gain from the second. So, total gain is this one. He wants the overall gain of this one. So, 3,750 is the total profit I required minus 1,050 which is nothing but how much 2700 this 2700 is the profit he has to get he has to get from 9312 is over now remaining is how much 3000 now cost price is 3000 profit is 2700 that is what now profit percentage is how much 2700 divided by 3000 into 100 0 0 gets cancelled 0 which is nothing but how much yes sorry 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 6000 is the first part 3000 is the next part 6 plus 3 9 
फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड माइनस नाइन इज सिक्स थाउजेंड सिक्स थाउजेंड फ्रॉम सिक्स थाउजेंड वी नीड टू सेवन डबल जीरो प्रॉफिट इट इज सिक्स थाउजेंड सो इट इज नथिंग बट फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट सो द रिमेनिंग पार्ट ही हेज टू सेलेक्ट ए प्रॉफिट ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट देन इन द एंटायर ट्रांजेक्शन इज गेटिंग ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट एज द प्रॉफिट these type of questions i explained a number of questions i covered a number of questions in my video course two persons were approaching each other 12 km 24 km approaching each other opposite a train moving in the same direction as a as the fast row man took 25 seconds to cross him and 15 seconds to a train is moving two persons a train is moving in the same direction as a faster man in the same direction as a faster man okay to cross him 25 seconds and another person 15 seconds find the speed of the train very easy question really very easy question right mm. let us say length of the train is l Speed of the train is yes. Faster person is twenty four. So as both are moving in same direction, the relative speed is a difference. So distance by speed you will get the time in how many seconds? Twenty five seconds. You have to say this is the first one. Now the same train, same speed, slower person is twelve. So if the one person is moving like this another person is moving like this let us say this is the faster person this is the slower person train is moving in the direction of faster person that's why these two are in same direction and these two are in opposite direction opposite direction that's why plus here so this will happen in 15 seconds this is nothing but equation 2 if i divide equation 1 and 2 i definitely elim i can eliminate l after eliminating l i will get s minus 24 is equal into 25 Is equal to s plus twelve into fifteen into fifteen, right? I got the s value as s value as seventy eight. Adil shared forty percent of his marbles with Bunty, fifty percent of the remaining with Bubbly. Bunty equally distributed twenty percent of marbles between Adil and Bunty. Left over is sixteen. How many marbles? This is the information actually needed to calculate the required answer. So as uh, all our percentages are involved, let us say Adil having hundred. Adil having how many marbles? Adil hundred. Adil shared forty percent of his marbles with Bunty. Forty percent of marbles with Bunty, which means forty marbles to Bunty. The remaining sixty marbles to what? Bubbly. Sixty marbles to Bubbly. That is okay. Bunty equally distributed twenty percent of his marbles. What is twenty percent of forty? Four eight. These eight marbles. Uh, Bunty equally distributed. Bunty equally distributed twenty percent of his marble between Adil and Bubbly. Adil and Bubbly. Okay, Adil and Bubbly. Something wrong, my dear viewers. Let us go first. Let us say Adil is having hundred marbles. Forty percent of his marbles with Bunty, and fifty percent of the remaining is Bubbly. Sorry, forty percent of hundred is forty. This is to Bubbly, Bunty. Remaining is how much? Sixty. Hundred means forty, sixty. In this sixty, fifty percent, which is nothing but thirty. Thirty. Thirty to Bubbly. This is the Bubbly. Right. Bunty, Bunty distributed Bunty. Distributed his marbles between Adil and Bubbly, and is left with sixteen marbles. That's okay. So what is uh, Bunty equally distributed twenty percent of his marble? What is twenty percent of forty, uh, which is nothing but eight? These eight marbles is equally distributed between. If eight marbles is removed, how many are left with Bunty? Thirty. These eight marbles are equally distributed to Adil 
and bubbly so which means four here four here right how many marbles did adil have originally right so he is left with 16 marbles so he is left with 16 marbles but in this here we got 32 marbles he is left with 32 marbles for the assumed 100 but actually he is left with 16 marbles so the original marbles with adil is 50 simple question sorry my dear viewers simple question Rumi who goes at a speed of 12 in still water was able to travel 40 km in 5 hours while going upstream. How much did the how much distance Rumi travel in 6.5 hours? Very easy question. This is nothing but speed of the Rumi. 12 km pH in still water 40 is in upstream. Upstream is nothing but U minus V. So, which is nothing but 40 divided by 5, 40 divided by, which is nothing but 8 km pH, 8 km pH. So, 12 minus V is nothing but, V we need to calculate, this is nothing but 8. Upstream speed, U minus V, distance by time, U minus V, 8. U is 12, so V is 4, V is 4. So 6.5 hours downstream, 6.5 into downstream u plus v, 12 plus 4, which is nothing but 6.5 into 16, 6.5 into 16, 104. Main marks of class X is 83, of class Y, main is class X is 83, class Y is 76. Class Z D is 85. That's okay. Mean marks of X and Y is 79. Mean marks of Y and Z is 81. Find the ratio of X is to Y is to Z. Right? Okay. So, better to apply the allegation and mixer. So, we, need, we have X and Y. So, X is 83 mean. Y is individually 76. Together is 79. Apply the allegation and mixer, we get the ratio. 83 minus 79 is 4. 79 minus 76 is 3. So 3 is to 4. In the similar way, YZ we know. Y mean is 76. Z mean is 85. And the YZ together is 81. Combined mean. Apply the allegation. 85 minus 81 is 4. 81 minus 76 is 5, right? Ratio. This is XY, this is YZ. In both the cases, Y is the same. So, 3 is to 4 is to 5 is the answer. Next one. Let X be the... <coughs> Let x be the least number which when divided by 12, 15, 18, 20, 27, 30, the remainder in each case is 1. And x is a multiple of 47. Find the sum of the digits. Uh, first of all, LCM of these numbers. The LCM of these numbers is how much? 540. Right? This is okay. LCM. The remainder in each case is 1, which means the number is 540k plus 1. Right, so this is a number. This is a number when divided by 12, remainder is 1. When divided by 15, remainder is 1. When divided by 18, remainder is 1. When divided by 20, remainder is 1. When divided by 27, remainder is 1. When divided by 30, remainder is 1. Right, okay. Next is what this is a multiple of 47, which means this 540k plus 1 is must be divisible by 47 is must divisible by 47 right must divisible by 47 right so for example for k is equal to 2 for k is equal to 2 how much i got 540 into 2 plus 1 which is nothing but 1081 this is the number so this number is divisible by 47 and also by dividing these numbers we are going to get the remainder 1. That's okay. Sum of the digits is 1 plus 0 plus 8 plus 1 is 10. Yeah. Sum of the digits. Yeah. 
for k is equal if i take k is equal to 1 you may get y k is equal to 2 if i get k is equal to 1 in that case 540 plus 1 541 the number is 541 5 plus 4 9 plus 1 10 in that case also 10 that's okay easy question basics of lcm and hf suraj had 75 sports goods to sell 10 tennis rackets 30 football 35 bars suraj sold 70 percent of the tennis rackets 40 percent of the football 60 percent of the crowd however he could not complete his sales target of 60 percent of his goods target is 60 percent of the goods okay fine how many more sports goods must suraj sell to achieve the 60 percent of the sales target so total 75 is there in that uh, sports goods to sell 10 tennis rockets tennis rockets are 10 sold 30 football 35 cricket he sold sorry these are the list these are the list of items he had 30 plus 10 40 75 these are the 10 tennis rockets 30 football raw football and cricket bats are cricket bars are Cricket bats are 35. This is the these are the things he had. 40 okay. 70 percent of the tennis rackets. 70 percent of ten is seven. Sold are seven tennis rackets. 40 percent of the football four threes are twelve. Twelve football. 60 percent of the cricket bats. Uh, ten percent is three point five. Ten twenty percent is a seven. Seven threes are twenty one. Twenty one for cricket are sold. Total sold are how many? Twenty one plus a 12 plus a 7 40 are sold 40 are sold but what is his target 60 percent of total 60 percent of total are how many 75 so target is how much 45 target is 45 he is sold 40 which means he has to sold five more to reach the target to reach the target Bhavar Lal, after selling the certain number of chocolates, realizes that he is selling them at a loss of 25%. He is selling them at a loss of 25%. He then sells the remaining chocolates. After selling certain number, certain number of chocolates, he realizes 25% loss. He sells the remaining chocolates at a profit of 40%. Remaining at a profit of 40%. So that ends up with no profit and loss, no loss. Overall transaction, no loss, no profit, zero. If he had 52 chocolates with him, how many chocolates did he sell? All loss, right? To apply the allegation and mixer, these three quantities should be similar in nature. I am taking this one as, as it is a loss, I am taking minus. So this is a loss case, this is a profit and the total I am getting zero. No profit, no loss. Apply the allegation. This is a 40, this is 25. So ratio is 8 is to 5. He is, still, he is asking for loss. Loss is 8 out of 13. Total he had 52. 13 fours, 8 fours, 32. 32 chocolates sold at the loss. Remember, number of questions I covered of this variety in my video course. Number of questions I covered. 3a square plus 3b square by 3a square minus 3b square is equal to 37 by 12. That's okay. Come calculate this one. If just apply the component on dividend. If I apply the component on dividend, addition is 6a square, b square gets cancelled. So upon subtraction, a square gets cancelled. 3ab square, 3b square, 6b square is equal to 37 plus 12 is 49. 37 minus 12 is 25. Which means a square by b square is equal to 49 by 25. So, which means a by b is how much? 7 by 25. Okay. a cube plus b cube by a cube minus b cube. 7 cube is 343 plus b cube is 5 cube is 125. 343 minus 125 denominator. So, which is nothing but 468 divided by 218. That's the ratio. Just a component or dividend or technique. Anuj Anup alone can do a piece of work in 1215. If both of them double their efficiency after working for two and three days respectively, in how many days can they together complete the work? 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Let us take 12 and 15 LCM. LCM is nothing but 60. Let us say this is the total work. Now, Anuj capacity. Anuj capacity. 60 by 12. 5 work in a day. Next, Anup capacity. Anup capacity. 60 by 15. 4 work in a day. Okay. Now, first two days. Now, first day, what happens? Anuj 5. 100% efficiency. Anup 4. 9 work is over. Now coming to second day. Second day is what? Again 5. 100%. 100%. Both shows their 100% efficiency. Now coming to third day. Third day Anuj. Double their efficiency. So 5 plus 5. So double efficiency in the sense 10 work he can do. But Anup is 4. That is 14. Now fourth day what happens? Anuj doubled as well as Anup also doubled, right? This is double also, which is nothing but 18. Now in 4 days, how much work was completed? 9 plus 9 plus 14 plus 18, which is nothing but 50 work is over. 50 work is over in how many days? 4 days. Now the remaining work is how much? 60 minus 50, 10 work. Now on 5th day, on 5th day, Anuj double this efficiency 10 work anup double efficiency 8 which means together they can do 18 work in a day 18 work in a day from right but the remaining work is only 10 work they can finish in 10 by 18 days they can finish in 10 by 18 days so the work will be finished in 4 plus 10 by 18 which is nothing but 2 fives to nines. 9 fours are 36 plus 5, 41. 41 by 9 days. The work will be finished in 41 by 9 days as far as this efficiency model has been concerned. Right? That's the end of my video. That's the end of this session, my dear viewers. One thing I would like to say, all the, the 12th September, 13th September, 14th September, 15th September and 16th September, in all these days TCS exam, the model questions that are asked, the questions which are asked, the similar models I covered in my video course. The same models in my video course of 125 videos separately for topic wise and 30 company specific videos also there. I am giving at an 899 for 9 months validity. What is I am giving an assurance? Definitely, whatever the written test that you are going to write, minimum of 75 to 80 percent questions will be there in my video course of the similar models. That can I that I can say surely. That I can say surely. This video course consisting of both quant topics as well as reasoning topics also reasoning topics also get this video course read, clear your written test fulfill your dreams that's all thank you one and all repeatedly listen my dear viewers you will understand each and every model one thing one thing one thing i would like to say similar and repeated pattern questions are asking in the upcoming days this is 16 right 17 18 19 days in these three days also, definitely the similar models of the previous questions are appearing. So, repeatedly listen the videos that I am giving in the TCS 2020, TCS 2021 September. Thank you one and all. So that you will get the, you will get a benefit at a lot because the questions are repeated.